In 2010, Nintendo and developer Goodfeel introduced Kirby's Epic Yarn, presenting a game that looked convincingly hand-spun with gameplay inspired by the distinct visuals. Five years later, the team is back, knitting together a more developed style with Yoshi in the lead. The aesthetics are as strong as ever, with familiar enemies woven together from a few loose strings, or with more complex stitching, resembling a cozy sweater. Yoshi unravels to enter pipes, and the strings of his legs retie themselves into a propeller when you double jump. Presenting the style in HD now allows you to see finer details, like the fuzz outlining each object. Cushiony platforms sag under Yoshi's weight, and you can push loose pieces of fabric aside to uncover hidden goodies. The presentation fails, however, when you enter secret passages with circular windows around Yoshi. In the 2D games, the idea works due to perspective, as it can be perceived as walking behind a flat piece of scenery. But with three-dimensional backgrounds, you can see Yoshi simply walk through solid walls. If there were an interesting animation, such as a frayed tear for you to slip through, it might look less out of place. One of the downsides of the last game was that it didn't feature the abilities of a traditional Kirby adventure, making its lead character feel out of place. However, Wooly World takes the mechanics of Epic Yarn and seamlessly intertwines them with everything you'd expect from a Yoshi title. His tongue is the perfect tool to grab loose strings, untying enemies or unraveling bits of the environment. Balls of yarn substitute for Yoshi's eggs, and you have to search high and low for hidden passages and collectibles. Even his ability to transform feels more natural as he knits himself into a digging mole or a speedy motorcycle. In addition to the easy difficulty setting, which is wonderfully named Mellow Mode, you'll unlock a number of badges as you progress that essentially function like cheat codes. By spending the little beads you constantly pick up, you can wear a badge that raises defense, gives you larger yarn balls, or reveals all the stage's secrets. You can even take Poochie with you into nearly any stage. However, if you opt not to use badges or mellow mode, Yoshi's Woolly World actually offers quite a fair challenge, and it's certainly more difficult than its predecessor. Most of the time it isn't brutal, but it has its tricky spots, and collectibles serve as incentive to conquer the toughest areas. Colored bundles of yarn are the most enticing, since finding all of them in a level unlocks a new Yoshi design, and there are many fun and creative patterns to acquire. Meanwhile, if you manage to discover all the flowers in a whole region, you'll unlock a secret stage. Just the first of these proves to be quite a test, and shows that it takes skill to keep afloat, even though your flutter jump is seemingly unlimited. In addition to the Yoshi you unlock in levels, Amiibo can be used to access designs based on characters like Mario, Kirby, Sheep, and even Mega Man. You can also use a Yoshi Amiibo to create a duplicate character, putting you in control of two Yoshis at once. But unlike the Double Cherry in Super Mario 3D World, the levels aren't really designed for you to control two characters at once, and in the end, your twin just gets in the way. What fares better is playing co-op with a friend. Navigating the dangers together can be fun and rewarding, and one Yoshi can eat the other to use him as a spare yarn ball if you're low on ammo, or you can spit them to higher ground. While there is collision between players, it doesn't feel too bothersome, and some might prefer to play with a friend over going solo. There are over 50 levels in all, which should take most players more than 12 hours to complete, and the game's strongest aspect is the variety in its level design. Practically every stage has its own unique mechanics, many of which are never repeated. One has you luring a wireframe chain chomp to strategic locations, then pelting it with yarn to sew its trap shut and use it as a wrecking ball. Others use doorways to flip the level, having you search both back and front sides for the path forward, while yet another creates tricky puzzles out of cookie-shaped platforms. The most interesting levels are more like dungeons, requiring you to branch out and search in different directions for keys that will open a central door. Yoshi's Woolly World doesn't set a new bar for platformers, but it's a beautiful game that showcases a constant stream of creative ideas. The yarn mechanics fit well with the classic Yoshi gameplay, and it's a great choice to get all warm and fuzzy with someone this fall. <laughs>